UFO enthusiasts of the interwebs, I am Alexa, resident Uki Spooky Girly, and I'm so thrilled that y'all love the last chat we had enough to generate a part two. Let's jump right into the good stuff together. Welcome to mysterious UFO footage NASA can no longer ignore, part two, electric boogaloo. Number five, Camp Wilson. So we find ourselves in a truly remarkable moment as a new wave of UFO sightings takes center stage this year, and NASA can no longer afford to turn a blind eye to this unexplained phenomenon. Together, let's travel to the California desert, where an event unfolded that eerily echoes the famous 1997 Phoenix Lights incident. Now, if you're a fan of a channel, you've heard me talk about this before. If not, I've done plenty of other videos on it. Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp, known for their groundbreaking investigations, brought to light footage from April of 2021, filmed over 29 poems. This sighting is far from your typical blurry UFO footage. The object, described as a giant black triangular shape with lights on its edges, was captured from multiple angles by six videos, with the accompanying high exposure photograph revealing even more detail. Witnesses, including over 50 U.S. Marines, were baffled by the object's sudden appearance, size, and behavior. Like I said before, the incident closely resembles the Phoenix Lights, where a massive triangular UFO was witnessed by thousands. It's important to note that the witnesses in this case aren't your average civilians. They are trained military personnel, artillerymen, and mortarmen who have dealt with illumination rounds and various military aircraft. And their unanimous conclusion? This was unlike anything they had ever encountered. Specifically speaking, a mortar man serving at Camp Wilson during this incident spoke with Corbell and took a high exposure photo on his smartphone which revealed the outline of you know this object it appears to be triangular surrounded by lights spaced evenly around its edge in a V formation now the mortar man who was staying anonymous for safety reasons described how one of his companions witnessed the object materialize from nowhere saying one of my buddies was outside he was looking at the sky and said it just kind of appeared out of nowhere and we all came out and looked and then slowly like 50 plus people started coming out looking those lights appeared out of nowhere hey he said it twice he was out he added that despite their military experience, none of the Marines could recognize the craft, and described their reaction as, you guessed it, baffled. Now this man who filmed and photographed the object said, if you look at the picture, you can see a black triangular shape. With the picture I took with the black triangular shape underneath the lights, it's definitely not any type of flare thing or illumination rounds. The witness said the apparent object remained stationary for approximately 10 minutes. But also like a Marine can be overheard on one of the videos saying that the triangle might have been in motion. Another Marine who saw it was serving as an artillery man at the base when he saw the UFO. He firmly rejected any suggestions that the lights could be attributed to illumination rounds that could have been, you know, sent off by artillery or any other mundane explanation he might have recognized. Saying, this was something none of us had ever seen before. It was a completely different color. The size and the illumination was different. He explained that when they fire off illumination rounds, it's one. You send it in the air and let it drop, and then you send off another one. This was like five next to each other, and they're kind of reddish, and our usual illumination rounds are a yellow-white color. The UFO's disappearance, just as illumination rounds were fired over it, adds a layer of mystery. Helicopter and a massive military convoy swiftly converged on the scene, leaving us to ponder what exactly was the government's involvement in all of this. The parallels between this and Phoenix Lights are undeniable. Both incidents feature large triangular objects with lights, hovering over military facilities, and then inexplicably vanishing. It's a real head scratcher. And as more details emerge, it's clear that NASA and other space agencies will need to address the growing body of evidence related to these unidentified aerial phenomena, which is something I've been saying for, you know, how many months have I been here again? Number four, the Go Fast video. So this video uploaded by the UFO investigative group to the STARS Academy of Arts and Sciences in March of 2018 was secured by a Freedom of Information Act request to the US government. The video was taken in 2015 off of the East Coast by an FA-18F fighter jet using the aircraft's onboard Raytheon AN-ASQ-228 advanced targeting forward-looking infrared pod, also known as ATF LIR. I know myself too well, I'm gonna trip over my tongue if I try saying that more than once, so it should be called ATF for short. ATF is designed to allow pilots to track, target, and destroy targets on the ground at ranges of up to 40 miles. Now, it should be noted that ATF is good at spotting, but not engaging aerial targets. The video, nicknamed Go Fast, My To The Stars, starts by explaining the various numbers and symbols that appear in the footage. Things like the aircraft's altitude, which was around 25,000 feet, and the fact that the ATF was pointed ahead and to the left of the Super Hornet. The readout also explains that the aircraft was traveling at 252 knots, and in a five degree turn, and the unknown object was approximately 4.4 nautical miles away. The video shows the Super Hornet's weapon system operator repeatedly trying to acquire the UFO with the ATF's built-in auto tracker, which can, you know, pick out an object and keep it centered on camera. After two tries, the weapon system officer, or WSO, shouts, whoa, got it, to which another person, the same dude the pilot says, woohoo, whoa, not to sound like Mario or anything. What the bleep is that thing? The pilot asks. The WSO later says, oh my gosh, dude, to which the pilot replies, whoa. 
What is that man? Now yes, this is where skeptics might start asking, but Alexa, how is this unknown object different from weird government aircrafts we don't know about? Well doubters, let me count thy ways. For starters, the UFO does not have any kind of hot exhaust trail that would be emitted by a conventional turbine engine, appearing to emit no heat on the ATF sensor. And secondly, the UFO doesn't have any visible wings or fins. Through my research, I've learned that even cruise missiles such as the American Tomahawk or Russian Caliber have small winglets that should be visible, and other missiles such as the Maverick anti-tank missile have stubby fins. The UFO appears oval-like and does not appear to fly nose first in the direction of travel. So once again, this was a video hidden and released by the government, so uh, NASA, any comment? Number 3. Las Vegas Aliens Wanna go gambling? One sighting this year in Las Vegas shows shadowy figures lurking somewhere in the shot. You can watch the creepy footage, you know, and see if you can spot them. This video is one of many supposed UFO sightings in Vegas just this year, with another sighting around the incident even involving police officer. But this particular video shows a group of people looking kinda nervous as they look into a backyard behind a house, with the camera zooming in on a forklift truck which has shadowy figures looking inside. Now there was a fair bit of confusion over where the extraterrestrials are in the video, but many people insist they're there, including me. For example, one comment wrote, you can see their face, eyes glowing in the first tractor. Then look at the second one, you can see it peaking, they're on like 8 to 10 feet tall. Another wrote, face a little left of the center of the circle, you can see the eyes and the mouth. So this video could offer fresh insight into the um, plethora of encounters and sightings that Vegas has recently seen. Police body cam footage emerged in June, showing lights hovering in the sky before plummeting to the ground in a suspected UFO crash landing sighting. Officers carried out an extensive search following reports of the mysterious figures, with no new evidence being uncovered. However, an eyewitness to the suspected crash landing spoke out and claimed they witnessed the whole thing, and even stumbled across an extraterrestrial. Apparently my brother told me to look behind the forklift, and I did. I saw the alien creature. So when I saw it, it was a tall, skinny, lengthy creature, according to this YouTuber. He was a grey, greenish colour, and when I looked it in the eyes, my whole body just froze. Bear in mind, I'm looking at his whole body. He has weird looking feet and a big face and eyes. Yes, there could be numerous theories about the existence of alien life. Many people believe that the universe is simply too big for us to be alone, no matter how unlikely life is to develop. And with that, one theory about why we haven't encountered aliens is that we were being snubbed by the galactic community, either because we're too stupid or too nasty, which like, mm, fair. Another interesting idea is that intelligent life has evolved several times in the universe. However, the lifespan of an intelligent civilization compared to the universe as a whole is so relatively short that intelligent civilizations might never have coexisted as one goes extinct before another emerges. Let me know in the comments what your theories are. Number 2. CBP Footage US Customs and Border Protection, so CBP for short, quietly released a slew of records and videos of UFOs in August of this year, specifically 12 videos which were released in response to a Freedom of Information Act request, all of which allegedly contained footage of UFOs. Now all the footage is available for download and is accompanied by a UFO report titled The Pentagon's UAP Task Force, Midi Security and Police Studies No. 183. The report is an older document said to be written by Frank Milburn and had something to do with the Fagan Sadat Center for Strategic Studies at the Bar Olan University. It's unclear precisely what the report has to do with the videos, which are pretty stunning on their own. One of the videos clearly shows an orb flying in close proximity to a plane, to the point where it appears the orb is chasing the plane through the sky. It's clear the object isn't moving like any other craft known to man. Most of the footage appears to show some type of orb following an aircraft or flying over land, and in one particular video, we can see one of these super fast objects glide over what appears to be some type of urban development or military base. So what are these orbs? We have no idea. They've shown up consistently around army installations and seem particularly fascinated with military activity. But other than that, we're still none the wiser as to what the heck is going on in our skies. The videos, some of which leaked already a few years back, have added fuel to the already raging fire of public discourse around flying saucers. One video in particular from 2013 shows an unidentifiable spot flying over an airport. The video is black and white and the footage is a little grainy, and the object, whatever it is, cruises over the airport at what appears to be a consistent rate, on a path taking it towards the ocean. It doesn't look at all that unusual, like if you had already told me it was a bird or a small, you know, UAP, I'd believe it. But the trouble starts when it gets near the water and appears to change shape. Shortly thereafter, the object seems to disappear, reappear, and then vanish for good. Some folks have interpreted that as the object having dipped beneath the water and emerged again, seemingly without losing any speed, which would be an impressive engineering achievement. But the video is so poor, it could just as easily be a digital artifact. Look, we filled the space around us with a growing number of cameras and orbiting satellites, and they're recording all the time. More than that, we as humans are creating more technology some of which isn't public knowledge. It was probably inevitable that we would start to catch things on camera that we can't explain. But there's a pretty big gap between look at that weird thing and uh, I bet it came from across the stars. Still, 
there is some weird stuff going on in the sky, and hey NASA, we should probably devote some resources to figuring out what it is. With that in mind though, apparently Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Mike Rounds introduced an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act, which would establish a structure for how and when UAP documents would be released to the public. So for example, for decades, many Americans have been fascinated by, you know, what the heck's out there, and it's long past time they got some answers. The Americans, Canadians, everybody has a right to learn about technologies of unknown origins, non-human intelligence, and unexplainable phenomena. So apparently we're not only working to declassify what the government has previously learned about these, you know, phenomena, but also to create a pipeline for future research to be made public. The bill requires that the government agencies turn over any UAP information they possess within 300 days of the act going into effect. All of which is to say we're at least like a year and a half out from seeing the extraterrestrial goods, so I'm going to keep screaming at NASA if you don't mind. Number 1. George Arteaga footage So over the last year, if you couldn't tell by today, unexplainable objects have been appearing in the sky, baffling a lot of folks, especially pilots. So some pilots believe that these fast orbiting objects aren't satellites or known military aircraft. Specifically, pilot George Arteaga remembers the event of what he claims was the most frightening experience of his life, where a circular object flew directly in front of his plane and whizzed directly by his window. He and his co-pilot Daniel were flying towards Medellin when they noticed a strange object. Now thankfully our pilot was able to turn his plane around and the unidentified object moved towards them. He also caught the first video of the stationary object. He was able to fly past the object, and he doesn't think it was a balloon because ideally the wind from the plane should have blown it away. The pilot believes that whatever he saw was once again not a balloon by any measure as he was way too high up and it was way too cold for a balloon to float free. Soon after he posted the video on Twitter, it was uploaded by an Instagram handle named The Hood's Finest and the video went viral and viewers speculated that uh, what he saw was definitely a UFO. The pilot claims the aircraft was traveling at a speed of 300 kilometers an hour, with temperatures falling close to uh, around 5, and in those conditions, this Staking a balloon or a bird for a UFO is very unlikely. Once again, hey NASA, wanna weigh in? And that brings us to the end of our time, so let me know what you thought in the comments about today's installment, and hey, if you want a part three, let me know. Folks, if you enjoyed my ramblings today, could you help us out by giving this video a like, subscribing if you aren't already, hit the bell for more UFO footage from us here at Top 5 Scary Videos, and I'll see you all next time, you lovely spooky people.